Good morning from the new house. Our first actual full day in the new house. See outside? I want to see outside. Look outside. Look at that yard. I know it's not as big as I had uh, hoped for at first, but it's big enough. Oh, there's flies in here too. I gotta go on a fly hunt yet. So how's everybody doing today? Oh, today we're just gonna be editing videos pretty much because I'm so far behind because of the move. I'm trying to unpack. My internet guy is supposed to be here any minute to install my internet. Uh, trying to get my floor heat working. I don't think I know how to turn it on. <laughs> the the boiler for the hot water or the boiler for the floor heat doesn't seem to be working. Maybe it is, but I just don't think it's working. I might have to call the previous owners and see how to turn that on. Other than that, I'm going to start editing video here, get a little bit caught up. <sighs> I'm tired. I'll probably have a nap later. My internet guy just got here. Yay for internet. Internet. I have no communication here right now. I still don't have my landline hooked up. I got no cell service and I got no internet. I am like living in the dark ages and I love it. It's kind of scary not having any communication, but I'll have internet in a few hours. And it's wireless internet off a tower that's about a mile or so. Not a mile, but maybe a half mile that way. But, yeah. The people who lived here before left me some nice uh, decorations here to give me a little head start on my home decorating. Uh, what does it say? Believe not all that you see, nor half of what you hear. Okay? Family is where your story begins. Well, that makes sense. I, you know. <laughs> Friends, you are a special gift from God. Memories. Memories are the storybook of our lives. And then there's one more over there yet. Coffee, five cents. So guys, uh, I'm gonna film the house tour, but that's in a separate video that you might have already seen. I'm not too sure. But I guess I should get it done. So let's get it done. Diesel, you are not doing your fair share of unpacking, man. You're doing a lot of laying around. What do you think you are, the king or something? This is my castle. I'm the king. Okay, you can be the king of everything from here down. Yeah. <laughs> the lights down. Okay, I'll let you. Good boy, whatever. So we're still unpacking, one second. Unpacking, oh look at me, man, I look terrible. I look like a mess. Oh well. Just like every other day. <laughs> I haven't even looked at myself in the mirror yet. I uh, am unpacking. It's slowly getting there. Very, very slowly. I don't think I showed you this in the tour, guys. Let's see if I can figure out which, which of these light switches are for that thing over there. Ah, that one. Okay. This is like one of them pot hanger thingers. You hang pots and pans and stuff up there. I might even have to go and buy some pots and pans. Ugh. I might even have to go and buy some pots and pans just to hang there. Just so that I can be cool. Yeah, it's... I just keep walking around the house just looking at everything. I love it. I love it. It's nice, I love it. It's way out in the middle of nowhere. Way out here. That's what I wanted, and I'm glad for it. You should have seen the stars last night. Oh, me and my dad brought the U-Haul back, right? And we got back here, and I looked up at the stars. The Milky Way was literally, like just a gush of milk over, the, over my yard. Like, it was just amazing, so many stars. Oh, well, it was even better than I'd imagined, so that's amazing. If I can get it on video, I can. It's hard to get stars on video, right? But 
We'll see. It's like my neighbor back there is building a shop. Mm -hmm. hey, he's not wearing a shirt. All right, fine. I won't videotape you then. Jeez. Guess I don't have to wear a shirt either. This is my land. And I don't have to wear a shirt on my land if I don't want to. But for your sake, I'll keep the shirt on. Don't worry. Maybe later. Maybe later. So that is my internet solution. It is wireless internet, not satellite. And it's pointed at a tower nearby. It took all day, but we finally got it up there. And we've got a pretty good signal. Kind of worried about the stability of it, but the installer was pretty confident in it. That it uh, they do it all the time. So, I guess we'll see what happens. Got a lot of satellites on my house now. <laughs> I got this one, which is the old ExploreNet satellite. Uh, that's our satellite internet. I decided to not go with satellite internet. I decided to not go with satellite internet because it's really slow and they put a daily cap on you. So the wireless internet would be better. So we've got to take that one down yet because that one's just sitting there useless. And then I also have that satellite, which is for the satellite TV. So there's a lot of satellites on top of my house. <laughs> But the satellite TV, I didn't pay for that one. That was the people who used to live here. They left it here and they still had some subscri subscription left. <laughs> subscription left. So they decided to let me have it for the next month and a half. So that's nice. I got a month of free TV. Not bad. Yeah, and like I was saying, that really tall one is for the wireless internet. It's connecting to a tower just down the road there. Uh, or just on the other side of town and that really big ugly dish on the back there's for satellite internet The people who used to live here had explore net satellite internet and them along with everyone else I've talked to says it's terrible They put a daily cap on you and you watch a few Netflix videos and they cap you off And then they slow your connection speed down to slower than dial-up So it's not very good plus it's not very reliable because it's That satellite on top of this roof would have to send a signal 22,000 miles or to kilometers, whatever, 22,000 something into the sky to the satellite and then get a signal back. That's a really long distance for an internet signal to travel. So instead, this really tall one is pointed directly at the tower half a mile away, half mile there, half mile back, one mile as opposed to 44,000. Which makes sense that you would go with the option I did. That was the only option I had, so. How you doing, Diesel? How you doing, my boy? Relaxing on the nice warm floors. That's very nice, man. Thank you. Yep, so I'm gonna clean this room up a little bit now. That's where all the internet router and stuff came in, so I gotta clean that up so that that's not there with diesel. Can't have diesel with a compile of cords. I don't think he'd chew them anymore, but you never know. You never know if I leave him in there alone for too long, then he might get a little weird. I don't know. Anyways, I've been doing laundry back here and unpacking some stuff, packing some other stuff, getting ready to go. Gotta leave on a trip tomorrow, I'm pretty sure. There's four light switches for this bathroom in here. Ridiculous. One, first one, turns on those lights there, okay? Second one, turns on those lights in there. <laughs> Third one, Turns on the one above the jacuzzi. I think there's two there. Yeah, there's another one hiding back there. Of the jacuzzi. <laughs> Fourth one. Turns on the one in the shower. <laughs> that is one heck of a master ensuite. I tell you what, that's a big bonus to having this house. That's one of the selling points, actually, I think. It's very nice. Man, if I ever get a wife, you know she's not going to be complaining about the ensuite, to tell you what. Won't be complaining about the kitchen either. <laughs> if this kitchen doesn't satisfy the woman, I don't know what will. <laughs> so, one day, one day, at least I won't have to fight with her to uh, get better appliances, right? Because you already got good appliances, you already got a master ensuite. Time for me to build a shop, something for me, you know? <laughs> I want to build a shop out in the backyard there. Here, I'll show you. Right in the back corner there. 
in, uh, in that area there. There should be enough room there just to build a something, 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 a little something, something. We'll see. We'll think about that next year. But until then, we're just going to enjoy the house and whatnot. In a few minutes, my dad is going to get here, and then we're going to go get my truck and bring my truck to my new home, too. That's exciting. That's, the, that's one of the biggest reasons why I moved, right? So I could bring my truck to my house. Diesel, you know how long it takes to mow the lawn here? <laughs> oh, now that's a lawn. I did half of the lawn today. I did the front yard. Probably took me about as long as it, <laughs> or longer than it took to do my entire yard back at the old place, but that's okay. I love doing that. Once you get out there, it's just like, yeah. The previous owners didn't uh, cut the lawn very well though, uh, recently. They probably just let it grow since they sold it. So it's a little bit longer than I'd like it. And I don't have a bagger, so it clumps up on the lawn. So that kind of sucks. Here, I'll show you the front yard here a bit. See what I mean? It sort of clumps up on the yard like that. Yeah. Oh well, what can you do? What can you do? So, uh, we'll finish the rest tomorrow. <laughs> it's getting late and I want to unpack some stuff and enjoy an evening here in the house yet. And Oh, I spent some time talking to you guys, editing videos, all kinds of stuff like that. I gotta edit that house tour yet and put that up. That's gonna be the vlog for that day. Hope you guys are okay with that. If not, well, too bad. <laughs> That's all you got. I combined two days into one. The whole move got combined into one vlog. So I decided just to make the house tour the vlog for that day. The next day, because I was missing a day, right? And the internet here, the download speed is really good. Upload speed, not so good. Takes probably about four hours to upload a video. But that's better than nothing, right? So at least we're at least we can upload. And at least we have internet here. Can you imagine if we wouldn't have had internet? Oh, that would be a deal breaker. Alright, let's make some food, Diesel. You want some pizza? You want some pizza, man? I love pizza. I don't like some pizza. Yeah, how about it? You gonna cook it? Are you kidding me? We're gonna cook it in my new oven. Well, it's not new, it's new to me. Check this thing out. Apparently this is, my, my mom and my sisters really like this thing. I have no idea what it does. It's, uh, what brand is it? I know it cooks food. That's all I know. It doesn't even say a brand on here anywhere. Do you guys see it anywhere? Huh. Anyways, yeah, it's got like this grill on this side. And then regular flat top stove there. And this is the exhaust fan. So if I go on here and fan, vent fan, put it on high, it sucks it in here. Instead of having like a fan up here, it sucks it in there. I don't know where it goes, but it goes in there. So uh, I guess we're gonna make a pizza. It's Delicio, not delivery. No, it's not delivery, it's Delicio. Once again, I'm giving him free advertising. You're welcome, Delicio, and thank you for your delicious pizzas. I like my house. I like my house. We're going back to my favorite part of the house. Do you know which part that is? If you've been paying attention, you would know. Dun, 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 dun. This is the best part of this whole house. I know I keep saying that. I'm gonna keep saying that over and over. But I want to show you something. Are you guys ready for this? This is even better than this. Can you imagine? I know this is a mess right now. I'll clean it up. Don't worry about it. Better than this right here. You ready? Dun, 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 dun. There she is. Right outside my house. Yep. Yep. There she is. In all of her glory. It is so awesome to have the truck. So, and that is the best part even better than this with the power garage door opener which I need to fix because it's not working properly I think it was supposed to be working properly because they said it was but oh well, we'll deal with that later yeah. 
Yeah, that's that. Diesel, clean up after yourself, young man. Where'd he go now? Diesel? Let's go. <laughs> hey, man, how you doing? Were you outside, man? Were you outside? You're such a good boy. You stayed right by the house. Such a good boy. Oh, very good boy, man. I know where home is, man. It may be a new home, but I know where home is. You like this house, don't you? You're a good boy. Yeah, so... Oh, shoot. I gotta do the laundry here yet. I'm doing laundry! Laundry. Oh, now I gotta fold all that? That's the worst part of laundry. Folding. I like just watching the machine spin. That's the fun part. I want to work hard to pay this house off so that, uh... When I'm older and not able to work anymore, that I can have my mortgage paid off in a house that will last that long. This house was built four years ago, so by the time I pay the house off, or it should last till then, right? Without major renovations being needed until then. Anyways, Diesel, any last words you want to say to everybody? Any last words? I really like this floor, man. I really like it. Is that why you're always laying down? I thought it was just because you're lazy. No, oh, I just really like the floor, man. It's really nice. Oh. I see. Well, now I kind of feel bad. I just thought you were being lazy. Let's lay down on there with him. All right. It is pretty nice. It is pretty nice down here, isn't it, Diesel? That's what I've been trying to tell you, man. Yeah. Good boy, do not lick my face. Do not lick my face. It's tempting, isn't it? <laughs> He's thinking about it. Thinking about it. Oh, good boy, good decision. Anyways, guys, I'm on the floor of my house. I'm gonna leave you guys right here until tomorrow. Thanks for joining me for my vlog today. Tomorrow I'm gonna try to hit the road and get back trucking, because uh, I need to make some money. So, Dispatch was unsure if they could get me going uh, because it's a long weekend coming up. But I'm sure they'll come up with something. They always do. If not, they'll have a plan to get me going whenever. Whenever they can. And it's usually not that long. It's usually harder getting going out of Manitoba just because we're in Manitoba. Way up here in the middle of nowhere. And then, uh, but it's easier to keep going once you're, once you're rolling already, right? So, that's just how it goes. Anyways guys, so I will see you tomorrow for another vlog about whatever I'm doing tomorrow. That's, I can, I can totally spoil the vlog and say that tomorrow's vlog is going to be about whatever I'm doing tomorrow. I don't know what that'll be yet, so it could be anything. We'll see you then. 4 a.m. Central Time, don't forget to go down below to the description. There's links to past vlogs. What was I doing a year ago? I don't know. Go to the description, there's a link. Go find out. See you tomorrow, 4 a.m.